Pim to Ellie Goals was inspired flow. So we're going to discuss a little bit of a summary and of what happened yesterday. It was a really intense day and it's always a flow. I finally enough looked at the uh, weekly um, Torah reading and it says about Aaron and his sons. I'm a descendant from Aaron and his sons and they had to put blood on their hands. I mean, specifically on their right earlobe and on the right thumb and on the right toe um, as part of the inauguration and this is something which you know my hands were probably covered in blood not that I could see because I had some sort of curtain around it when they were operating yesterday because they were meant to only just have to put pins through the bones x x ray it and then everything would have been fine but unfortunately they um, weren't successful and they had to cut open everything and fiddle around and the operation lasted another hour and I could hear what they were doing um, even though I was supposedly under sedation um, and it was pretty intense you know I have to say like I'm in intense pain I don't think I've ever felt this pain like this in my life and the flow is that you know once again according to the weekly portion there was something positive in inauguration but you know we're in exile we don't have a temple and I'm being a priest a Cohen a descendant I don't have my place to do you know my in my uh, mission in this world ideally, and I have to do it in um, in the exiled version. So unfortunately, it seems like the exiled version includes accidents um, where you have to have operations and things like we saw in the hospital, the crazy situations. And I had a Yushami today, who um, you know they're not the biggest Chabadniks, but he thank God put on my tefillin and my talis so they could pray. And he said, look, there's much worse things going on, you know, like really, I know that's usually not such a comforting thing, but unfortunately, you know, some people aren't feeling so compassionate because, you know, really are going through crazy stuff, much worse than this. So even though right now my fingers and hand are on fire, literally, um, and the painkillers I've been using are not really doing too much, but at the same time like thank god it's just my fingers and thank god you know overall i'm a healthy person as we spoke about in the previous podcast and that is a big part of the flow just to see be gra- the mindset of gratitude you know i was listening to gadalia fence he made it to great neck and he was talking about having a great neck not a little neck having the ability to praise praise and keep positive and through motion generate positive emotions and that's something which i wanted to mention my soulmate she spoke in front of a you know, a, a large group of women, probably around 100 in our local area, and she spoke about her journey and how she, exercise has brought her uh, to come to her own brand of healthiness, vitality, body and soul, and the vitality that it's created in her life, doing the exercise and the success and what she's done for other women, the vitalization, and it was a, com- a tremendous thing that she was able to get up and because st- she was so nervous, it was so against her personality to get up and speak about you know what she's doing and her journey and we do have already a, an existing class in Jerusalem but we haven't really done any marketing or anything so now she put out an email after this speech you know so everyone can contact her and also my daughter being a babysitter and like these are like big steps forward you know for my wife like in the right time to just my soulmate just to put herself out there a little bit more and all her talents and struggles and journey that she's gone on and she's achieved something phenomenal that she has her own brand of exercise which if it would get out there in my opinion would be like a leading brand of exercise but you know everything will be in the right time and who's meant to benefit from it will benefit from it because it also does require a little bit more uh sensitivity emotional wise and spiritually wise to tap into the light that my wife's giving and it's not just you know just a public simple like zumba kind of thing where you just everyone just does some sort of thing it's like a journey and I think that's also why my podcast is, you know, it's not like I'm getting to millions of people because it's a journey and only people who are open to the journeys that they're going on can really, you know, get involved. I even feel like, you know, this whole operation thing is a part of the journey and everyone connected to me, thank God, it generally had been amazing. My Rebbe called me before the operation, after the operation, gave a lot of love and, um, you know, the people there were very understanding and caring and, you know, thank God, you know, I I have enough to sort of get by. I did have a job interview today, which would have helped this transition time. 
um, with someone I, I really feel would be that actually the right place because there's been a lot of job opportunities but this is really the one I really feel might be the right place but since it's a remote bitch emission I'm sitting in bed with a with a tremendous pain I don't think I'd do so well getting on the bus and just the day after the operation so thankfully that they've um, pushed it off to Sunday um, but I'm available by phone to anyone who wants to talk and once again I can still do my consulting and hopefully the pain's not messing with my head I'm clear and and in a collaborative state of mind. I went out with my friend. I saw that I posted that, you know, the the night before the operation, just to get some, you know, inspiration with my friend and my soulmate, one of my best friends. And it was really important, like, just to to connect and touch base and take my mind off this operation. And one of the things that came out was the one the power of you know friendship and just appreciating the special people in your life, not being alone, and then also came out that you know it was it was really really needed to just understand that you know our journeys you know everyone's meant to be where they're supposed to be and you know I he's actually helped me with uh, the branding side which will be coming out soon with for the unity projects and it's such appreciation that you know I have people in my life who can help me make those next steps forward and then please god I can help them in in my own way and with my family and hosting them things like that and please God for Simchas, you know, this is something which is a flow and it's a flow of positivity that we have to open ourselves to, a flow of healing right now. I please ask everyone to pray for Elio, Elio Eliezer Ben Chanaliba, because I really want to have a full refor Shlema. I want these stitches out in a few weeks and the pins out in a month and I can just get ready for Purim and, and the new time ahead with Pesach and just be helpful and involved in people's lives, including my own family in a fully able way. And, uh, you know, please, God, we'll just hear good news from each other and looking forward to uh, keep sharing these inspired flows. I'd like to hear from you, you know, your feeling, if anyone wants to wish me well. I've had a lot of uh, people send me messages and it's really appreciated. And, um, you know, I'm typing with one hand right now. So if my responses has come out a little bit strange, I apologize. And uh, it should be good. You know, we're going to all see good news from these harder times. We're going to see good things. I'm looking forward.